days now, the IRS has been telling us that they're going to launch a tool where you can track your stimulus checks. And we just found out that it is now live. So I'm going to show you how to use it to track your money. And also, if you don't have direct deposit information on file with the IRS, I'm going to show you how to file that too. You'll want to go to irs.gov. The next thing you'll want to do is click on this button here that says get info on economic impact statements. That will take you to this page here. And on the left here, it will say filers, get your payment. You'll click on that and it will take you to this page here. So click on this button here that says get my payment. Now when you get to this page, it will say please wait on the top and there'll be these blue dots that move across the screen. Don't worry, you're not doing anything wrong. It's just that there are so many people on this website all at the same time trying to get this information. Okay, just a few minutes later, this screen pops up, click OK. You'll then see this web page that says get my payment on the top. You'll type in your social security number, your date of birth, your street address, and your zip code. If you don't have direct deposit information on file, it'll then send you to another web page where you can type in that information and speed up your payment. Now, if you already have direct deposit information on file with the IRS like I do, you're going to see a web page like this that says payment status on the top, and it's going to tell you whether or not that money is already in your account or when you should expect to see it and basically that's it the whole process minus that five minute wait time takes about two to three minutes to go through if you have any more questions about this we still have some helpful articles on our website at care11.com for care 11 news i'm gordon sieverson well the irs website isn't working for everyone we've heard from several viewers who can't get through to track their payment Tax experts say that might be due to the high traffic volumes or early glitches on the site, and they just recommend to keep trying. We have